Okay, this is Jeff Head, and I'm displaying here in 172nd scale a very powerful um, set of tools that the United States has put together for the maritime environs. What you see on the right is the P8A Poseidon, which is the much anticipated and awaited replacement of the P3C Orion. This is a completely new build 737 airframe that has been completely set up to be a maritime patrol aircraft and in particular to do anti-submarine warfare although as you can see from the missiles stored under its wings it can also do anti-shipping and or anti-surface uh, attacks when necessary very powerful aircraft many of our allies are buying it England Australia and a number of others India uh, Japan uh, of note has its own the P1 which is a four engine new aircraft which is a very powerful aircraft in and of itself. And then here you have the MQ-4C Triton. This is a BAMS aircraft, which stands for Broad Area Maritime Surveillance. This aircraft is capable of uh, 60 to 70,000 foot altitude and persistent 36 to 48 hour patrols. The United States plans to, to have five or six squadrons of these uh, located around the world. They can uh, fly high and with their powerful radars, we'll turn it over here in a minute, and sensors provide information on the whereabouts and targeting even of uh, aggressor equipment, everything from shipping to submarines. They're capable of rapid ascent and descent from the 70, 60 to 70,000 foot right down to the wave tops if necessary. but. They like to stay high, and uh, the idea is that they transmit their data to aircraft like the P-8, and as we shall see in a few moments, to other aircraft that the United States has, as well as installations. They have a 130-foot wingspan, a lot of fuel can be stored in that. Uh, as you can see, they look very much like the Global Hawk that the Air Force uses. Uh, but this has been greatly strengthened and uh, with a different suite of electronics to perform the maritime function, whereas the Global Hawk is set up to perform the Air Force function. But in many ways, they do the same type of... Uh, of data as well. So let's turn this guy over and look at some of the things that it has. You have some strong uh, maritime radar capabilities and communication capabilities as well as even potential targeting capabilities uh, so that it could provide a wide gambit of all of those, as well as numerous antenna for communications uh, at all frequencies. So uh, this is a very powerful set of tools, let's turn it back over, that the U.S. Navy has. And our allies uh, are buying into this uh, greatly. Australia has bought both the P-8 and the Triton. Uh, Japan is buying the Triton and coupling it with their P1. Uh, 
India is buying the Triton and their pH uh, they've got 12 pH and are buying 12 more uh, England is buying both sets of aircraft and so what we're establishing and we'll be able to establish with our own bases and those of our allies is a network uh, to provide a backup actually if you would to our satellites for precision guided attacks uh, each squadron will have four to five aircraft one aircraft on patrol, one aircraft preparing for patrol, one aircraft going through maintenance, uh, uh, then to be prepared for patrol, another aircraft for training, and finally one air, one or two aircraft for reserve. So those squadrons will be located around the world and with our allies will provide uh, coverage uh, to match and so this has got uh, aggressor nations pretty worried because they've kind of counted on being able to take out US satellites and uh, therefore be able to uh, negate US uh, capabilities but now when you add these aircraft in that can communicate directly with the information network being set up by these aircraft you begin to get the whole gambit same thing applies to the Air Force and Marines what we have now is an F-35C which would apply to the B and the A Bravo and Charlie. You have the E2D as well as C, but particularly the D, the uh, advanced super Hawkeye. And then you have the advanced super Hornet, which is fairly stealthy. Um, they've taken the ability to load seed and even full attack capabilities in the stealth cupola located underneath the aircraft it can hold up to eight weapons and that way they don't need to have all those weapons hanging on the pylons and uh, adding more radar the uh, the fuel would uh, the fuel tanks would be discarded as they come closer and closer to uh, potential enemy detection uh, the super hornet itself can do the same and so what you have now is the capability to do the full gambit from identifying uh, large areas of the maritime environs and connecting information uh, to the U.S. Navy either through its aircraft carriers or its maritime patrol aircraft or its large amphibious ships as well as uh, bases like Langley or any U.S. base in the area so that a full picture can be established on worldwide activities as a result of these aircraft. Uh, that uh, Triton is fairly stealthy as well and so and, and it's a big space up there where they'll be environment uh, operating so you have the ability here to establish the communications network necessary to provide the information necessary for these weapon systems and aircraft to continue right along doing their job with respect to uh, precision guided munitions on target uh, either as a primary uh, system of communication or a backup system of communications to our 
uh, satellites should they be interdicted. And this worries uh, potential aggressors greatly. By the way, the first squadron of these Tritons has been stood up and it's the PU uh, V19 and that's a patrol unmanned uh, maritime uh, squadron. Uh, when I get the logo, I've got a friend company out of Australia that I've attacked that makes uh, specialized decals that's going to put the the decal. But if you look up PV-19 uh, MQ-4C Triton, you'll see the uh, red Neptune light decal they have that would go right there between the the number, serial number of the aircraft and the PE. Uh, there'd be a red uh, decal there showing its squadron. I haven't gotten that and probably will be some time before I do. Uh, I'll take another picture of it when that happens. But I wanted to get this out there to show you some of the really ongoing neat stuff. Uh, uh, we've got more and more of these P8s out there. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but I believe we're probably uh, of the 100 and Oh, 20 to 160 aircraft in vision that we probably have 60 to 80 of those aircraft uh, ready to go. Uh, the Tritons just uh, established their uh, initial operating capability for the first squadron and we intend to buy 68 of those aircraft. Uh, we have allies that are going to buy another oh, 30 or 40 and then the Global Hawk has been bought by allies and ourselves as well to establish even more of that communications network because they'll all speak together. So there you have it, uh, a really neat uh, communications capability that a lot of people aren't aware of, but that is coming into existence so the United States can keep on operating uh, even in an environment where uh, our preferred method of communications is interdicted and or uh, damaged. Of course, we would launch satellites to replace the ones, but uh, at some point, if they have enough capability to keep taking them out, uh, we would revert to this. And, of course, we would be taking their satellites out as well. So this is Jeff Head. These are 172nd scale aircraft uh, made by numerous uh, uh, providers. Uh, Welch Aircraft provides the P-8. They're the only ones I know that make a 172nd scale P-8. And uh, it's not a plastic model. It's a vacuum form and... Uh, metal and other materials. Uh, Kant's models is the only one that I know that makes a 172nd scale uh, Triton. Actually they made an RQ-4N which was the initial uh, uh, Air Force aircraft that was converted into a Triton and then I built it to the Triton specs. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please take a look at my entire channel and uh, be happy to have you subscribe and keep an eye on all the naval and other military developments uh, through these 172nd scale aircraft and 1 350th scale ships of all types and the videos that I have to go with them. Thank you.